Hello and welcome Aries to your weekly tarot reading. This is Jeff here at Raise Your Vibration TV and this is going to be for January 22nd all the way to January 28th. So welcome Aries. Thanks for joining. Always a pleasure. I like doing the weekly readings. They challenge me, but they keep you up to date. I mean, I was only doing two readings a month. You know, I do astrology reading for every sign and and a tarot reading for every sign and then the waiting happened and I can't stand it. So I've got to be on here every week. So with that being said, let's get the energies and the vibe for the week for you, Aries. What else do we have for Aries? Okay. The cards have spoken. Let's see. Oh boy. All right. Hmm. How do I do this? This is challenging. We're definitely going to need some clarification on this. Okay. Hmm. You know what? All right. Uh, we're definitely going to clarify this because this is this is already baffling me because for some reason I see the lover's card here in this position, but I also see it here in the outcome position. So we're going to clarify it. Let's see what the universe has to say. But right now, this is what they're laying out for you, Aries, this week. The lover's card, the eight of cups. This is an energy of walking away from what no longer serves us. The hermit is finding that answer within. The guidance is within, not out there. Except this tarot reading. <laughs> but... For the truth on how you feel and using your inner wisdom will help you in this situation about a relationship. This is a new beginning. The universe is handing you an opportunity here. You know, you may not be able to see that with the glare, but look at that. That's beautiful. It's a seed with roots already and some sprouts at the top, ready for you to go ahead and plant. Now, this could be a situation where some of you Aries could be walking away from a love situation that no longer serves you. And with finding inner wisdom, you almost open up a new door. That's why I want to put that lover's card here also, because either way, it's like one door closes, another one opens. It's it, that's bizarre. This is this how we're going to start out our 12 readings for the week? Oh boy. Well, who better not to start it with with them with you Aries. Okay. <laughs> But that could be the situation is that some of you could be walking away from a relationship that no longer serves and you're going within to find what, you know, the new beginning that it, it, it unlocks the door to the new beginning. It illuminates that opportunity to come in. So let's get some clarifiers and see what they have to say. Let's see. What do we got for Aries, please? All right. All right, they said to shuffle one more time. So, so far we've got the Nine of Wands. We've got the King of Wands. So there's some change definitely in the air for you. All right, we've got Five of Wands. Lots of uh, change. Hmm. And we got a couple fives here. All right, so, you know, I think you're out of the drama that's going on here. You know, I want you to stay out of drama. I want you to know, choose your battles wisely. You know, this is two fives, it equals a 10. There's a payoff here from not paying attention to any drama and to getting out of it. And to almost let your guard down, we got another nine here. So this is like, you, I understand that you're looking at all of this drama here. And you've put up some walls and barriers. I do want you to put up boundaries with some people. This looks very empowering now that it's starting to take shape. Um, the King of Wands energy brings in this Three of Pentacles energy, which shows us that if we embrace change, we come from the Nine to the King of Wands, we, we get recognized. There's an opportunity here. There could also be... Um, for some of you, a job opportunity. Some of you may be leaving a job because of the drama, because you just can't deal with it anymore. You deserve a lot better. So kudos for you. Even when you go ahead and make such a statement like that, which is there's nothing wrong with it, 
But if you make a statement saying, you know what, I deserve better, all of a sudden the universe starts to give you these clues and keys to unlock these doors that you feel that you're trapped in. But the the advice for this week, Aries, is to not focus on competition or drama. We know when to just walk away from things. There's a clear energy here of just, you know what, don't put any more energy into it. Just be gone with it. All right. So let's get some psychic tarot and see what they have to say. Sorry, I'm I smacked the deck on the on the glass there. <laughs> Sorry. All right, Aries, let's see what this is. This looks like you know, there's a lot of change. There's no doubt about that. We've got a lot of wands here. We've also got some issues, um, opportunities, I should say, coming in with work. Yeah, look at that. Another eight, another nine. Pay attention to 999, please. Ooh, we got more cards. Pay attention to 555. All right. Again, we are dealing with our shadow here. You know, how do we deal with it? We deal with it with our spiritual strength. Again, nine, nine, nine. Pay attention to those numbers, Aries. Um, we are using our wisdom. Again, that's the hermit energy. We're using our wisdom and knowing, you know, this spiritual strength comes from within with you. And with all these nines, there shows some manifesting here. Now, look at this. Emotionally withdrawal. That's the eight of cups again. Again, I mean, that's that's crazy. You can't make this up. And with patience and planning, financial and material changes. Some of you are definitely walking into a better situation at work. You're, you're manifesting here. Pay attention to five. Five, five, five. We got another five. Lots of fives, lots of nines. You are at a halfway point, Aries, where you're like, okay, we're going to change the plan here. I'm going to walk away from this. I'm going to take my emotions out of it. I'm going to deal with my shadow self, my insecurities. I am going to put up boundaries. I'm wiser now. I know what to do. I'm going to be patient in my process. I'm going to nurture the, th the opportunities that come to me. And there's going to be a payoff for it. No doubt about that. Easy breezy, lemon squeezy. That's it. Now, let's get some psychic tarot from the heart as we segue into the love portion of this and see exactly what's going on here. All right, what do we got for Aries? What do we got for Aries? Any oracle messages for Aries, please? Cards are acting really weird. There's an excitement here that's also with this. So be aware of that, you know, and there should be. There should be excitement in the things that you do. Wow. Look at that. It's time to make a move. It's time to walk away from all of this. That's clarification for some of you. What you're going to do this week is find balance, and that's patience and planning. And it's also about giving and receiving. There's a lot, I mean, there's, there's a lot going on here that shows you being secure. There's a lot of red. It's red, it's, it's root chakra energy, you know? So pay attention to that. Feel secure in your decisions, all right? Especially when it comes to love, it's time to make a move and it's probably a move to come closer together, to find that balance. It's a reciprocating energy for some of you. So some of you might be getting over a rough spell and moving towards each other when we aren't so butthurt about what our partner had to say. So let's get some love for you, Aries, and see what's going on here. Four of Pentacles, Two of Swords. That's it. That's it. Huh. The three of swords. Okay. I understand. All right. For some of you, the heartache that and the betrayal that you have felt in the recent past has got you in a stalemate. And some of you may be at a stalemate. You know, you got the two of swords here. You got the shadow card. It's kind of showing me that, you know, you know, we're at a standstill. So the, the advice is don't hold back. You know what I mean? Pull back your energy when it no longer serves the situation. When you do that, there's going to be communication coming through. There's going to be swift action taking place. So be aware of that, Aries. Things are changing. And another eight, 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 eight. Pay attention to these numbers. Nine, 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 five, 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 right? It was four fives. One, two, three, four. Yeah, four, five. Uh, um, so many numbers, so many coincidences. 
you know, pay attention to these. Okay. So let's get some romance angels and see what advice they got for you. Yeah. Look at that. Release your ex for some of you. Look at that. The time has come to clear your energy. That is something mostly all of you are doing. Look at that separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. Maybe some distance is needed. This movement is needed to walk away, to find that balance, to come back together. These two pillars coming back, you know, together. Interesting. This could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. I think for some of you, Aries, is a friend that has kind of moved into this, you know, and maybe some things were said, maybe some defenses were put up, but it looks like, you know, as you move apart from your, each other, you come back together. There's definitely going to be a communication coming here. All right. Free yourself. It's time to take control, take back control of your life. Damn, Aries. This is very empowering. It all centers around relationships and heart. All right. Let's get a closing message for you, Aries. And we're going to finish out January here. And then I've got some surprises coming for you. So pay attention to those. Hit that bell, bell notification because I'm going to be changing some things up here. Really excited about it. And I want you to come along with me. So without further ado, yes, I know they had one more for you. Okay. This one wanted to come out first. Align. Aries, you're being asked to align with your current situation, even if it's not easy to do so. Trust that there is much to be learned by being here. Pushing against what is will only make things harder on you. Align, surrender, and trust this week. Soar. You're being asked to stop dimming your own light, period. It's time for you to come out of the shadows and let your authentic self soar. Fly high, Aries. Yay. Last but not least, abundance. And there's definitely that coming in for you, too. You're being asked to open to abundance, to believe you're deserving of it, and to believe that it will flow to you. This is the first important step towards receiving it. Breathe deeply and trust that it's on its way. Guys, this is a great reading. Rewind it. Pay attention to it. Write down those numbers. You're going to be seeing them a lot. And listen, you have a great week. Release your ex. Get rid of this energy. Walk away from it. Pull back your energy. Put up your walls if you have to and open up to the possibilities that are within you, Aries. All right. As always, thank you so much, Aries, and I will see you next week. Mwah.